For far too long, Illinois has been ruled by the hair. Sure, the most recent scoundrel to occupy our governor's chair had the most impeccable follicles. But Illinois has lived with that type of political embarrassment and shame for as long as many of us can remember. Otto Kerner, Dan Walker, George Ryan, and the hair has proven contagious, spreading its tangles throughout Springfield to elected officials of both parties. Since 1971, a thousand people have been convicted of political corruption. Too many in Illinois have just become accustomed to the culture of the hair. Scandal has become the norm. So many politicians have looked the other way instead of challenging what they knew to be wrong. We hardly raise an eyebrow while the rest of the world looks upon Illinois politics and sadly shakes their heads. Where has the culture of the hair left us? High and dry. In horrific debt. Spending more and more and more money we simply don't have. Painful taxes and threats of almost fatal taxes yet to come. No jobs, no opportunities, no hope for real change in sight. Or is there? If Illinois will choose an honest outsider, someone with no ties to Springfield, no ties to lobbyists or special interest for a change, then things could finally change. If Illinois will choose proven substance over false dreams, things could finally change. If Illinois will choose a lifelong, tested fiscal conservative instead of yet another painful big spender, things could finally change. If Illinois will choose a successful businessman who spent his career balancing budgets and building good jobs instead of yet another career politician, then things could finally change. If Illinois will break from her harebrained traditions of the past, then our future could once again be bright. That future has a name. Andy McKenna. Impeccable integrity. Quiet and thoughtful. He helped build his family business from 30 employees to 350 and from a regional company to a global one. Andy says, the most exciting idea in our economy today is not some new idea like the internet or bioengineering. It's getting an old idea right, giving everyone an opportunity to succeed, a fair shot. For that's why people came to America in the first place. Andy's been giving people that fair shot all his life. Being the founding co-chair of the Chicagoland Entrepreneurial Center, he's helped 2,000 dreamers make something of their lives. And he's found a perfect running mate in State Senator Matt Murphy, the man who repeatedly tried in Springfield to bring order to the fiscal chaos and was repeatedly pushed back. And at six foot four, Matt's not an easy man to push. Springfield is a tax and spend budgetary mess. I've been down there three years offering alternatives. With Andy McKenna and me in charge, we will get it done. Andy's a great guy, always thinking of others, and one of the smartest great guys I know. I'm a farmer who runs a family business. I can't wait to have a guy like Andy as governor who knows a thing or two about running a family business. Andy's wife of 29 years, Mary, is a school teacher. Two of their four kids followed her into teaching. He is the person who loves solving unsolvable problems. So Springfield is the perfect place for him. There are no easy answers to our problems. We spend more than we take in. We have a massive state debt. Our hostile business climate has forced jobs from Illinois. And the culture of corruption in Springfield means that if we're serious about a cure, that cure has to come from outside Springfield, outside the system. Andy McKenna is the quiet cure. Smart, decent, caring, well-educated at Notre Dame with an MBA from Northwestern. 
His history of dramatic business success and innovative charitable work is the refreshing change we need. He's not a big talker. He's a big doer. A roll-your-sleeves-up kind of guy. Driven, beholden to no one. Being governor's not something I've been dreaming about for my whole life. But we all know things have to change. And the first change we can make is to send an outsider to Springfield. Maybe someone from business who's had to care about people's jobs and take responsibility for tough decisions. And actually make a payroll, not just borrow more money. Someone who believes in people and knows if we work together, we can solve any problem. But not the way we've gone about it before. It's time to put our house in order. Andy McKenna's The Quiet Cure for What Ails Us. Hair today. Gone.